Hello, I'm Horst and welcome back to another interesting unboxing video from Seixel Support Campus in Aachen. Today I want to introduce the WAP3205 in version 3 to you. It's a multifunctional access point that can be also a repeater or a bridge as client. Let's have a look at the box content. Zyxel offers the WAP3205 version 3 in an eco-friendly box that is made mainly out of carton board. There's less plastic waste, so we only have the wrap and the protection foil inside. The rest is made instead of foam from carton board. You can find the quick start guide as well as the FCC declaration and of course the device with two antennas and a LAN cable and a power supply inside the box. Also there are protection covers on the device that protect from scratches and also the LED bar has a protection foil. On the back side you can find the power button, the power connector, five LAN ports, WPS reset button and the antenna connectors at the edges. After you have unpacked all accessories, you can attach the antennas to the connectors, screw them clockwise to the connectors and tighten them softly. Then you can bring the antennas into the direction where you would like to show them. On the connectors you can also attach separate antennas with a better DBI rate or a direction. This is used to have a beam of wireless into a specific direction to reach more clients. The box content is also including a cable for a LAN port and a power supply. If you take a look at the bottom label, you can see in the black area that there's an SSID and the wireless key printed on the device. The standard value printed on this label is required when you connect to the device in the first setup or if you turn it back into factory modus. Now we are ready to install the device and boot it up for the first installation. Connect the power supply and in LAN 1 port an internet cable which can come from your internet access device or your IP network. Also you can switch a LAN cable into port 5 and connect your computer which is required for the later setup of the device. For an advanced installation we later need to apply a LAN cable to port 2 to 5 and connect it to the computer. Then we will also download the user guide. To establish an easy connection to the device without special setup, simply click on your wireless icon and search for the wireless LAN of Seixel WAP3205. Fill in the security key from the button label and connect. After a few seconds, the wireless connection is established and you can immediately work with your computer wireless. This easy connection is also described in the quick start guide and gives you a very fast connection to the internet. Now we set up the device as a normal access point. First we will download the user guide from the FTP location. Simply choose the folder of the WAP3205 and download the user guide. The setup of LAN connection and access to the device is described in the manual. 
You have to edit the Ethernet connection of your computer and give it a static IP address 192.168.1.3 and then browse to the website of the device under 1.2. The device opens the login page and you use the credentials user admin password 1234. After that you have to change the password to a new one with minimum 8 characters, no specific signs and apply the new password to the device. Make sure to note this down so that you have this access for later. Then the main page offers again the wizard setup and the advanced setup. On the wizard setup you can choose the operation mode, access point, repeater or router and apply. Using the access point wizard you can change the SSID of the device from standard value to your own SSID and also the security key from the factory value to your own private security key. Make sure to note it down exactly the way like you key it in because it's case sensitive. Then apply to the device. Let's have a look at the configuration for Universal Repeater. To change the operation into the wizard mode to Universal Repeater we follow the same step as the beginning. The device IP is 192.168.1.2 and you can apply the modus universal repeater. The device will also restart and come up again in the new modus. Log in to the GUI again as before, then you go to Network Wireless LAN, select the network you would like to repeat, key in the security key and apply. The device will establish a connection to this wireless network. You can see that on status associated. And now we're going to configure the device as a client. Log in to the device again and change the operation mode to client bridge. The device will have to restart again and then you connect again to the GUI. You can see on the status page the device is now disassociated. Go to Network AP Select, select the network that you want to connect to and also key in the security key of this specific network. Then the device is associated as a client to this network. If you're having trouble during setup, simply push the reset button for more than 12 seconds and the device turns back into factory mode. For any question about our products or for multiple help, visit our support portal under support.zyxel.eu. You can find more than 600 help articles in different languages as well as videos and our demonstration lab. That was the introduction of the WAP3205 version 3. I hope you liked the video. If you want, then subscribe to our channel, click the bell to be notified and leave a thumbs up if you like. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. We're Zysel and we're your networking ally.